Hey guys, it's Amanda with Getting There Green, and today I'm doing an update on my lime tree that had a spider mite problem. Uh, you guys really came through with the advice, and here are the results. Check out that lime tree! Wow! Check it out! Alright, yeah, yeah, this is a joke. That lime tree is brand new. That's a new lime tree. Um, the original lime tree is right here. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, you guys really came through with lots of great advice, but uh, it was probably just too long. It was probably just too far gone. Um, now, there was a lot of great advice, but the advice was kind of all over the map. Like, um, some people said, trim the dead stems. The other ones said, don't trim the dead stems. And um, some people said, change out the soil. And others uh, didn't. Some said, stop watering it. It goes into hibernation. Some said, you need to water it more. You need to be spritzing it down. Some said to spray it with a mixture of water and vinegar. Some said uh, neem oil or essential oils or um, dish soap and water. So here's what I did. I followed as much of the advice as I could. I sprayed it down with uh, dish soap and water and like I, I soaked it really well and I sprayed all my other plants too. I took out the top like a couple inches of soil and put fresh soil in. I trimmed the dead stuff because like seriously it really was dead. Um, I put it higher in the window in hopes of getting more sunlight and I took the other things out of the window that could be um, blocking the sunlight and uh, is that all I did? I guess that's what I did. I tried to pay closer attention to watering it. Um, yeah, and you know, for a week, maybe two weeks, but I think only about a week, it looked fine. Um, it certainly looked better, but that was because I'd cut off the dead stuff, so all you could see left was the nice live stuff. And then one day I looked at it, and all the leaves were gone. <laughs> so it was dead, 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 dead. Um, and then I thought, well, now I gotta do something. Like, it's really, it's pretty dead. I, I don't think it's coming back at all. I contacted um, a nursery that's about an hour outside of my city, and it's the only place I could think of that might carry lime trees. And I asked them if they had any lime trees in stock or when they would, and they said, I have two left in stock. I'm like, oh no, two. Uh, I knew I wasn't gonna get there for a few days because it is pretty far outside of the city. But I went, and when I got there, they had actually set one aside for me, so that was really nice, because otherwise it would have sold out. So I bought this new lime tree. I don't think I'm going to fool anybody into thinking it's the same lime tree. It's, like, so entirely different. It's even a different kind of lime. So, oh, fun fact. Did you know lime trees and most citrus trees have thorns on them when they're young? Yeah. That's fun. That's fun when you trim all the dead stuff off and uh, there's thorns like everywhere. Like these are brutal, brutal thorns, like rose bush thorns. Anyways, that's only on young trees. They, uh, when they get bigger, they don't need the thorns anymore. It's just to keep, when they're young and tender, it keeps animals from eating them. That's what they're there for. Um, yeah, fun fact. Anyways, thank you guys so much for your advice. Um, now I have a new lime tree and I'm just praying that it survives maybe two more months, maybe longer, but at least until I can put it outside so it gets like real sunlight because <laughs> I think that's what it needs more than anything. I don't think I can give it enough light indoors to really keep it going. All right. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for the advice. If you have any more advice on growing uh, citrus in your home in, uh, you know, northern states or in Canada, please comment below. Thank you. Uh, check us out, facebook.com slash green. We like to interact with you there. Um, we also have a website, gettingtheirgreen.com. Subscribe if you like. Um, thank you. Happy spring.